Hey there, signs of Sagittarius. This is Kim with your next 48-hour reading. Thank you for joining me. If you're wanting something more private, reach me um, through the description box below. You can find an email to reach me for that. Wow. <laughs> We're going to get started with your reading. You know what? Let's do a little bit of sage. I just got done with Aries reading. We might want a little bit of Neutral energy here. I'm <laughs> flinging it everywhere. Okay. Sagittarius. This is the Martian Oracle. I'm just pulling this for fun before um, the Celtic Cross. So we're going to pull a Celtic Cross and it's going to be a general. But um, yeah, so this is the Martian Oracle. There, one wants to come out, finally. What do we have? Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. Alpha Draconians, number three, Alpha Draconians, corrupt, unethical, and cults. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. On the bottom, you have the air element. Um, Philosophy, discrimination, empathy. Hmm. We have vegans. All right. So, what is that about? I don't know. It might have something to do with your reading, though. Or it wouldn't have shown up. So, I've got the journey of the sacred bee that we're going to pull your uh, reading from. Alpha Draconians, and I think that's like reptilians, right? And I, I know in that deck, at least there's different, there's different finds. So this is about things that are uh, the archetype of something being led as corrupt. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups, which is um, you celebrating abundance, celebration, joy, um, maybe having drinks with people, going out with friends, family, getting back together, making good memories. So it is about making the good memories. Ooh, nice. Beautiful. Even better. I mean, this reading is like awesome. I don't know what this is about. We might actually pull separate cards just for this Alpha Draconians because, okay, now maybe that maybe it's this. Oh, yep, that's what it is. Okay. All right. Wow. Wow. Oh, this is good though. This is good. Okay. Oh, wow. 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 You are in alignment with some really beautiful energies. Um, beautiful energies here for some kind of celebration for you. Now, is everything fair and just? No. There is something going on with justice in the reverse and king of swords in the reverse. This is the crowning energy. This is the future energy. The Alpha Draconians here says corrupt, unethical. Um... I don't know, but there there may be something here um, in your life that doesn't feel equal or fair. The King of Swords could represent you really needing to get some more information, maybe contacting an expert. But but I'll tell you, you're aligned with your victory. No matter what, you're aligned with your victory <clears throat> of yourself and others. So this is something that involves you and and others and as you see the world card is in reverse with the princess of wands or page of wands as the outcome this is a very good news it is good news and yes it is that something is completely not over um 
you're about to have a wish, not just a wish, but a hope fulfilled um, with the star energy, something that you have wanted or dreamed about even. This can go as much as to say something with your dreams is coming true with that star energy. You, you are open to different possibilities, but you're absolutely aligned with a victory. For yourself and others, the challenge, maybe you're not being recognized or given enough attention. Or maybe, yeah, maybe people aren't recognizing you or appreciating you for all that you do. Past energy is the sun. And that's good. That's growth, right? The sun helps things grow. Um... You can see things are visible. Um, nice two of ones as the challenge. So the challenge might have been um, aligning yourself with your highest good of all, and the well, yeah, aligning aligning what you're doing, your possibilities, with what is the highest good for. And I almost said the hive, which might be kind of what it's talking about because of the, that hive. So, what is this about? Possibilities, paths opening up. Tell me about this dreams um, card and wishes granted. Not just a wish, a hope, a dream. It's no, too many. <laughs> it's something big with the star. It's like, this is your focus and your intent, your intention is going into that. Like, what are you, what are your next moves? Oh, wow. So <laughs> what we have to clarify your dreams, something like a dream coming true is that you are going to have this new opportunity come into your life. This could be a relationship. This could be a person. It could be a career, a job. It's something big and it's tied to something that you've dreamed of. So, wow, this is really, really nice. It's going to be worth celebrating. Why is the challenge? See, maybe it's the seeing this as a victory because you've gone through a lot with, um, with this card, Sagittarius, you've had to completely reinvent yourself. If, if this was like a relationship, then you had to walk away from something that was really painful, just, um, hurt little by little, but all the time and, and too much. So over, overkill with the emotions. Um, you have the four of disc and that is representing how you feel. You could feel like, like the card suggests that you're standing in your personal power. Um, you could feel like it's, um, it's about the foundations. Um, it is about stability, but it, it is about something kind of that, that is solid here. Um, you could feel like you're really the one holding things up and maybe it's because of your, um, a really amazing focus that you have the hermit energy is in the environment in the environment is the hermit energy could be a virgo you could have a libra energy with you too with that justice in the reverse but something doesn't feel that fair but i feel like you're comparing your journey like your individual journey something that you really can't can't really compare um although when it's hard it, it's very easy to say how come this person doesn't have this issue or this problem so the hermit needs to kind of do more work um maybe dropping the judgments of what's fair what's not fair or just deciding okay this is the best way to get balanced and back on the right path for you which you do something right. I mean, the the King of Swords is your the future energy here. It's in the reverse. So it, it, if if it's not information that you're needing to get or contact like an expert, then it might have to do 
with with having adversity um like why do i have these these people or these challenges in front of me why are why is something trying to stop me it might be because there's something kind of corrupt or unethical going on and there may be something from higher up organization and I don't know. There might be something that does try to give you a challenge or adversity or challenges you. And it's probably because it's something um, that they don't want you finding out about. I don't know. Something like that. Strange. Hmm. It's not hidden. Whatever feels like it's not fair is not hidden. What? What is this... Um, Ace of Cups and Star. What does this have to do with the Two of Wands? What does this have to do with the Two of Wands? Hmm. The paths and possibilities towards your dreams have not been evident of how you're going to get there. It's felt like if you, if you were soulmate in separation or you just hadn't felt like you met that one person or that person that's supposed to be on your path to help you there it is the heart's feeling it and that's it could be open to it so you could feel kind of like um stuck in a in in a situation with the eight of swords feeling like you were stuck in a situation that you didn't really enjoy and this is like saying here's your ticket out of it. And here's this soulmate relationship. Possibly all of that. The heart needs to know what's possible. It's about getting the heart and the mind in sync here. Okay, the four of disc is, is building upon this foundation and maybe even about your power. Um, powerful or power. Tell me about four of disc. The world in reverse. Another world in reverse. So it's building the foundation for something that is not yet over. It's still part of the journey. Have fun on this journey and expect some good news to come. Expect to hear some really good news that's going to make you like this journey better than you have up to this point because this is saying that you've been through a lot and the hard times are pretty much behind you um because you had to completely reinvent yourself you have something established that it feels like it's in the way or like it has its ties to this stuff <sighs> okay so tell me about justice in the reverse Eight of Cups. Somebody that left or feeling like you're wanting to leave. Because this is not something that you enjoy anymore. Feeling like, like retreating or leaving from this situation. Maybe even planning on leaving. Because the situation is not supportive for you. Or there's something about the... The people or the energy here that's like just not supportive um with the eight of cups you could be afraid that there's something that maybe you're leaving behind but look at you just don't trust this situation with the full in reverse you don't want to trust in this unseen <laughs> so you've got it's, it's like you're developing your own plans here All right, so you don't trust something and, and you're really not going to take a leap of faith. Um, you think that the way to handle these scales being balanced is to completely get away from how something was done before and, and you're, having, you're having to redo everything, reinvent everything. Tell me about this adversary or the um, king of swords. Ooh. Letting go of, um, this is a big healing. This is a healing where you can say, I've been through painful times, possibly, um, you know, sorrow or a loss, suffering a loss. Um, with the three of swords in the reverse, it's time to like bury it 
and walk away from it. And I think that's what you do. I'm pretty sure that's what you do. This, if, if it's a person, I don't know, you've got strong Libra, you've got strong Aquarius, but this is not healthy. This is that um, kind of energy of like the person that's real sarcastic mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> like doesn't, um, wouldn't give you advice to help you out, but definitely will let you know when you're tripping up, you know, to try to mess you up. That's that energy. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. Tell me about the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So you walk away from that, though. Yeah, you let go of your attachments. If this was a person you were attached to, you're letting go of that. You're not being attached to having to do something a certain way or a certain order because you've already been through so much that you know how you're going to handle something. And, and, and yeah, and so it's just you, you handling you, all walls down. Hmm. Re, reinventing. Tell me about the Princess of Wands or Page of Wands with the world in reverse. Tell us about that. The Two of Swords in the reverse. It's going to be... Um, it's going to come down to a decision that will be um, unavoidable to postpone. So if it's something like I'm thinking of leaving, this stuff is going to be in the past, then it's something that you're just, you're going to do. And it's, it's something that is going to be made, a decision made upon receiving really good news. Do your own research, though. You, it looks like you have a celebration coming up with friends. Watch out for addictions, vices, and things like that. I know I'm seeing this. Yeah, the eight of wands. The eight of wands. I saw it pretty close. Hmm. Okay, and the world in reverse. Judgment in the reverse. Letting go of resentment. And it's all about also... Letting go of anger, frustration, judgment. This is not good nor bad. Don't judge the journey. If something didn't change, there may be a switch up when it comes to partnerships. The two of cups in the reverse and the knight of swords in reverse. It's like you can forgive something, but you can also release if it's not changing. And especially if something's lost its spark. The magician in the reverse. I don't know. So that's what I got for you, Sagittarius. Let's pull um let's pull some advice cards. Advice from the tarot. Tell us about this because you know it's it's it is about the journey. This is not about a finish race. Um, it's not about that type of victory. This good news is the news to um, keep going. Tell me about the um, advice here for Sagittarius. Don't overdo it with friends. <laughs> Again, with the influence of going out, partying, having a good time. Remember, the temptation is there with this devil energy. So, um, yeah. Um, and stand strong in into what you know to be true without being swayed by, you know, um, a maybe not so great influence. Tell me more about this. Uh, oh, goodness. Okay, so whew, doing this alone, this, this is sudden change. This is abrupt. And this is the card that represents willing to leave something behind because going to get your ninth cup because you know that it can be better, that something can be better. More, and there's your victory. <laughs> so look, if you, you look for your ninth cup, you'll find it. You have enough perspective to know how to avoid conflict, drama, and to know that it's gonna take your focus. And then look at that, Ace of Cups again, jeez. 
So Sagittarius, good energy, good energy. Let's go to fortune cookies. Let's get a fortune cookie. Nice. And maybe this is about health influence from your friends too, possibly. Health, an excellent time to start an exercise program or a diet. And many new friendships are on the horizon. And then, like, friendship, for sure. This is a friendship coming in. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. Difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Jealousy. Somebody is jealous of you. So somebody's got some envy to you. So watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. <clears throat> Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. And then I have this intuitive life coaching oracle too. Let's use that. And that we'll um, end with that. Victory, public recognition, reward, what you're deserving. If it's a challenge, it's what you, you know, what you're deserving. This is a different okay. Don't think of the normal wishful thinking. <laughs> This is actually, you're learning how to manifest the life that you desire. Like, for real wishful thinking, coming true wishful thinking. <laughs> Ooh. Um, and then I have 62, <clears throat> limiting beliefs. This situation calls for a reprogramming of your belief system. Uh, I have 44 synchronicities, allow the magic to unfold as synchronistic events lead you into a new direction. Now you have three, 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 four threes. Then unwavering faith. You're being asked to have faith in the unseen. Nice. Shooting star, you're shooting star. You're about to reach your fullest potential or step into your fullest potential. And 64, Seeker of Truth. You can feel the hidden truth behind your circumstances. Okay. And tea leaves. Great worry over nothing. I hope that one helps. I like that. Great worry over nothing. Sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me.